Hey, this is Josh here, and welcome to Gunworks. In this video, I'm going to be going over some of the features and functionality of ColorCore and how you can use it in customizing your guns and saving material presets. So let's go ahead and boot up our GUI. First off, how are we communicating with the gun material? We're actually using a struct to organize the material by associating each material parameter with a mapped name, then grouping them together into dynamically generated shelves, as seen on the left. This is all still one material, though and we're actually using RGB splat mapping to specify the locations of each of the shell's materials on the gun. With our system, color core presets can go on any other gun so long as it's equipped with the proper base maps. You may have noticed that certain shelves have camo toggle options. When enabled, this allows you to select a camo pattern and specify a primary and secondary color. The shell's camo textures operate independently of each other, so you may have up to two unique patterns on your gun at any given time. Now that we've customized our gun, we should save it as a preset. Let's open up the save menu. Here we can actually expand a list of all current presets in the system. Our save tool automatically selects the next empty slot, so you won't accidentally save over another preset. The list also comes equipped with a palette preview, so you can get an idea of what the preset looks like. When you save a preset, it generates two files. The first is a lightweight metadata file that contains only the data necessary to show that preset inside the UI. The second file contains the material parameter data. Now that you've saved your preset, you're ready to share it. Anyone with the save game files can view, load, and modify the preset in their own color core. That is all for now. Thanks for checking out Gunworks.